Hi guys, it's Micah. Today I'm back with this chest in recipes all about the flamingo today. And look, I have one on my balcony. <laughs> and this is um, what I came up with. And I, as usual, put it in a PDF or Word file in the orders that I implemented. And yeah, I have um, usually the other side of my cutting mat up because the pink is very pink. But I thought it's a perfect match with my kids flamingo. So, uh, I will show you. I also got the oxide version and the crackling campfire. My shop only had it in the oxide. So, I will come back to that later. But I'm starting with sponge sugar, kitsch flamingo, and picked raspberry. Now, when I write on the back the names that I'm using, I just use the uh, important <laughs> word like flamingo and raspberry. And sponge sugar, I do that. Sometimes I don't know how to choose. And um, well, there's pink flamingo, of course, or kitsch flamingo, sorry, in all my recipes. And the next one starts with the flamingo. And then there's wilted violet and chipped sapphire. And sometimes I do put the same colors on the two sides. And that's so you can also see how it goes with the blue. So you don't have to do one more swatch. <laughs> swatch. <laughs> so, wool. Swatch. Um, and then, yeah, I, I got nine, but I in blended the wrong one. So there's ten on the PDF or Word file. Because I uh, misread Victorian velvet for wilted violet because my handwriting you know top of the notch and you can see this is um uh, flamingo carved pumpkin and squeezed lemonade but there's also a darker version of yellow like mustard seed and i used red persimmon uh, in the next one this very well um, more warm i feel the tint is, is nicer but I'm using the DCP paper that I always use for my ink blending and also for my card bases so that you have a true representation of the color which is important so here I put the yellow with the pink so I can see it makes a nice color and there's a few that I put together like cracked pistachio and pink I knew it would make brown or gray and it did and also the um, Kenneth Apple and Mermaid Lagoon, uh, blue and red, but they always make it kind of a funky brown, <laughs> the brownish grayish, I'm not sure. Um, and I use those for my rainbows, of course, as well. And yeah, it looks dark gray actually. And uh, this is Wilder Violet, see those preserves, and um, well, flamingo, of course, but it should have been. Victorian velvet instead of wilder violet. So that's because my handwriting is. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Mm. It's so nice. I can't read it myself. So the, the thing that I put it on the back is just because I can then transfer it to my swatch book and write it in my nice handwriting. But I don't forget which ones I used. And it's not important. But if you print my PDF. It's easy because then you can just use the printed version and then ink blend on the other side. Ha! Huh. It's so smart. So, um, worn lipstick, candied apple, and flamingo. And then I thought, hmm, the worn lipstick kind of reminds me of fired brick. So I've used that as well. On this side, I didn't like it. It's too brown. Yeah. But you might like it, so, you know. It's just for options that you can use to make color combinations. The tastes vary, don't they? People like different things, so that's a good thing. <laughs> can you imagine if we were all wearing the same shoes and trousers and t-shirts? No. So this is, I was looking for my... Uh, Salty ocean. I wanted to say broken ocean. So, no. Uh, flamingo. 
Salty Ocean and Wilted Violet. And Salty Ocean is very similar to Mermaid Lagoon, I think. But um, yeah. And again, the kids swimming on two sides, so you can see how it blends with the blue and with the purple. And a blue with the purple, of course, as well. That makes a nice, dark, warm, purpley color. I like it. And yeah, a Mermaid and Flamingo, I thought I would make a kind of a purple, but that also turned a bit grayish. The Mermaid and Wilted Violet is very nice together, actually. <laughs> so, a Crack Pistachio and Pink, of course, make gray or mud. Whichever you want to call it. I, I see gray. But um, that, it just depends which one you put next to it. Because, you know, the chips are fire and the flamingo made my nose. <laughs> Like a faded jeans, in my opinion. But um, yeah, and the green and the pink. They went actually okay because of it. I think it's my paper. And that's why I swatched it on the scrap down there. You can see it makes gray and a really dark one as well if you put it together. But because of the DCP paper is coated, you can just, you know, mix before it sinks into the paper, I think. Just <laughs> and the last one is a flamingo, candied apple, and mermaid. As I say, those make brown or gray to start with. But um, yeah, the red and pink is nice together. And the pink and the blue is nice together as well. So <laughs> and just leave out the middle one. Maybe you can do go back and then do pink, red, pink, blue. Pink, red, green. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's just a matter of um, perspective. So that's my recipes. If you want, you can ask for them on my Facebook via Messenger, and I can attach them in a uh, attachment, and then you can print them and make your own. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.